Hey, this is June from Turning Point Life Investment, and this video is for the week ending November 29th, 2008. So I just want to say I hope you guys had a, a wonderful Thanksgiving weekend. And because of that, the market uh, had a short week, and it, I'm sure the market did have a very good Thanksgiving weekend, given that we had a four straight days of rally this week, which uh, we haven't seen in a very long time. Looking on a three-year weekly view on SPY, uh, we noticed that we had a very nice um, large white candle this week, which is a very good bullish sign. We mentioned uh, several weeks ago in our last video, we said that there's one more decline left, and I think that was it right here. Uh, it stopped last Friday down around this low, roughly around the 75 level. So this could be the potentially the last leg of this entire decline, and then we're going to have a multi-month rally that's going to occur, probably going to tag this 20-week moving average. Now, volume, of course, is low this week because of the short week and the holidays. Prices are not exactly um, oversold yet, but it's getting to somewhat of an extreme level. And the MACD, you can see, is starting to, to show a little bit of divergence. It's starting to creep up higher towards the center line as prices are declining. Next, going into a six-month daily view, you can see we had a very nice bottom right here uh, last Friday. So I'm thinking this could be potentially the bottom that we're waiting for and now the rallies is uh, occurring. You can also see how we've managed to close above this 20 day moving average which only occurred once back here but it failed to um, tag the 50 day moving average which is something that we haven't seen yet ever since uh, September so that could be a very strong resistance level for the SPY. Now what we want to see happen is prices fall back down to support somewhere around here in the mid 80s probably back around the 84 level uh, where support once was and it's probably going to hold again if that's possible then the market has created a higher low which is potentially a, a sign of a an uptrend you have a rally pull back higher low and then the market continues higher to create a higher high which is uh, by definition an uptrend the opposite of a downtrend where we have a series of lower lows and lower highs which we've been having um, within the last couple of months. Um, another sign of a potential end to this decline is you can see how this uh, leg, the upper resistance line, has been broken over here. So the prices can manage to come back and pull back and find support, which we said around the 80s, mid, mid to low 80s level. That's a good sign of a potential trend reversal. Now obviously volume is low because of the holidays. We were um, slightly oversold as a result of this uh, last decline and you can also see that there's divergence here how this last leg is much weaker than this leg which is usually the sign of a um, anytime you have a last leg of any move whether it's the stock or the market usually the last leg is the weaker one and that's indicated here with the MACD okay lastly we're going to go into uh, an hourly view 60 minute view um, you can see straight from the right right away the stochastic on the hourly view short term is overbought and there's also a little bit of divergence with the MACD so it's telling us that the market is getting a little bit stretched out short term so a pullback starting next week is more than likely going to happen the only question is pullback to where right um, the, the likely level is going to be 84 you can see right here previous support around the 84 level if not um, probably around 87 you can see here um, that's where the next prior support was and that's also where the hourly moving averages are going to be because once the market starts rallying um, short term it's going to use the 20 and the 50 as support as apparent here when the market was declining it used the 20 day moving average or 20 hour I'm sorry and the 50 as uh, resistance so it, as long as the market can manage to find support around this area um, that's a good potential uh, sign of bullishness and that's something that we want to see if you're bullish of course and then you can use either trade the SPY or look for stocks that are showing signs of strength and bullishness to trade those. Then the last thing we want to look at is the VIX. Uh, we mentioned last time that the VIX is showing a little bit of divergence. You can see here how we had a very, very um, extreme bearishness in the market. And even though the market made a new low, uh, the VIX did not make a new high. So this indicates that the fear in the market is not as extreme as prior uh, back here. So once again, right, this indicates that this last leg down is weak 
and usually that's the the personality or the indication that it is the last leg because of the weakness now prices for the VIX has pulled back towards its 50-day moving average as it did here so this is going to be pretty good support once it breaks the 50-day that's a good sign for the market as far as bullishness is uh, because now it's broken this strong support level now on Friday we had a very uh, I could say this is roughly a hammer another indication that the uh, a pullback in the market is going to happen because of this because the VIX is also showing a potential sign of a bounce the only thing is can it bounce to a lower high for the VIX indicating a higher low in the market um, another sign of a potential uptrend that's going to happen in the market so that's the only thing that we're looking for is on this pullback that's going to happen next week can it sustain itself can it hold to a support level and if so that's a good sign that um, this decline that, that happened within these last couple of months is behind us and then we can start a new multi I would say a good multi-month rally but overall long term we still are in a downtrend okay so if you're gonna buy stocks um, I suggest I suggest maybe just holding for a few months I, I don't think it's a good time to be really holding anything long term in this type of market